Okay, we made it to the stream. This is the fun part. You can see the stream right here. You gotta walk through all this fun stuff to get to where you need to go. Good times. Every year there's something different, a fallen log, something goofy. But it's relaxing, the woods are beautiful. You hear the stream going in the background. Let's see, show you a little bit right there. Anyway. Till we get to the hole. Hey everyone. Let's uh, let you know what I look like when I'm uh, trout fishing. Uh, so I'm going to go over a little bit of gear. Um, yeah, this isn't a metal detecting video, but this is an extension of my trip here. So you'll let you kind of know what I'm doing here. What is this thing? This is a worm holder. You uh, open it up, put your worms in. There you are. You want it very high. Because when you're wading in the uh, stream, sometimes you run to some deeper holes. You do not want your worms to get wet. They'll die. They'll, they'll limp up. And you'll lose a lot of stuff. So you weigh it, or you, you put it high. Um, essentials. You definitely want a trout net. You do not want a deep net. Um, you can spend a lot of money on these things. Um, I like the wooden ones. They're nice, they're comfortable, but they're deep. So if you see what I've done here, I've tied off so it's a shallow net. Um, you go to buy a shallow net, it'll run you about... 40 to 50 dollars you can buy something like this for 25 bucks and just do this and you're just fine um, what I'll do when I'm walking through uh, the trails or whatever I will just tuck it right under my belt that holds this so if you can see see how that works you want a good knife um, I was very privileged to have uh, the fat man send me this uh, buck knife. Um, wonderful knife. And I've already sliced my finger open with it. <laughs> Which my uh, father-in-law freaked out about. But super glue works real well when you're in these situations. So I'm not worried about it. Um, glasses. You want polarized glasses, a definite. And don't get cheap ones, get some decent ones. Mine are Serengeti's. Um, you'll see me in videos wearing these. Um, these are very lightweight. They cling to your head. They see a lot in the water. You cannot fish without polarized lenses, so definitely get these. Okay. What else? A good vest. Always make sure you have a good vest. Lots of pockets. You want stuff for the pliers. A must. You want stuff for your sinkers. You want stuff for your swivels. You want a pocket for, very importantly, your cigars. Because trust me, when you're up north, the mosquitoes get kind of nasty. You can put all the, uh, the bug dope on you want, which I carry. Um, I'll show you. I use Deep Woods Off.
but even sometimes that's not a good thing. So you want to have something a little bit more. Uh, if you enjoy cigars, I enjoy a good cigar, so uh, I'll smoke a cigar while I'm doing what I'm doing. And uh, it seems to help quite a bit. Um, what else do you need? You need a pocket for your snelled hooks. I use number six. They're a little bit bigger, but I like it that way because if I get a smaller one, they can't swallow it and I can let them go. Um, if it's a bigger one, it'll land it. So you definitely want to sn uh, snell hooks, number six. I use Deagle Claw. They're sharp. They're good. They're not knockoffs. Now when I open a, a package up, what I'll do, I'll fold it. So I know that's the one I need to keep using. The other ones I'll keep straight. So it, it does help. You have to have a little bit of a strategy when you're doing this stuff. Um, it's just the way it is. What else do you need? Not much more than that. I'm going to go into what I uh, use for uh, my poles. So let me get to that. Pull of choice. All right. I've got uh, three poles I always bring to the stream. Because there are certain spots we uh, go to that hold bigger trout. So, there are the poles I use and the, and the reels I use, I use a St. Croix rod and a Shimano reel. And I won't go anything less than a, than a Stratic, okay? That's important. They're about 100 bucks a piece. Yeah, they're a little pricey. The pole's about 80, to, depending on what kind of St. Croix you want. So you're gonna you're looking at a 200-hour rig. <coughs> These have a lot of ball bearings in them. They're very smooth. The drag is awesome. Never fails. Um, tried and true. Definitely buy this kind of rig if you're real serious about fishing. And I use this not for trout, but for bass or anything else. Um, so this is what I uh, this is what I'll run. This is a medium fast action, very stiff rod, very stiff. Why? Because if I get into a log structure and I and I get a, a strike of a big fish, I can't let them play around. I got to haul them out of there. So that's what this rod is for. So if I'm if I'm going to a part of the stream that I know I'm going to run into that, I will use this rod. That's that. This rod is my main rod for trout fishing. Um, it's a thousand symmetry, Shimano, and this is an ultralight, six foot. And it's a fast action power. So you got a lot of backbone here, but then it flexes quite a bit. The advantage of that, if you're in a wide open area, you can let the fish play out, let it tire itself, because the rod does all the work. All these rods are run six pound test. The disadvantage, if you're in a log jam or something like that where you gotta get a fish out, you'll lose it every time because there's too much flex. But it's a very wonderful setup. It works awesome. Um, but you just can't take it everywhere. That's the problem. Uh, if you're getting into log jams and stuff, not a way to do it. But this is my main rod. If I'm going in open areas and things, uh, stuff I know, or places I know in my stream, where I have some leeway, there's not a lot of logs, not a lot of branches. This is what I'll use. This is what I'm going to use today. And last but not least, 
St. Croix Triumph Rod. This is a medium light, fast action, which means again, you got a lot of bulk in, in, in the beginning and a little bit more flex in the end. Um, I'm running a Finn Noor Ahab. And if anyone knows about anything about fly fishing and uh, Finn Noor, uh, these are great reels. Cork uh, uh, seat for uh, your drag, never fails. Awesome reel, very smooth. I think the symmetry is a little bit better than this, but this is a great reel. This really is. You know, it's not as smooth, but it's good. Um, anyway, why do I use this one? If I get into a situation where I'm on the stream, again, wide open, but there might be a little bit of logs or whatever. This is a little bit longer rod. This is a six footer. I usually use five and a half for trout fishing. Um, but I like that extra length. If I know there's some going to be some bigger uh, trout in there, I can land them with this. I have landed steelhead with this. So, um, an important rod to have. Um, when you're when you're on a trout stream, you're going to run into uh, very small, narrow spaces. Um, I used to fly fish all the time. I loved it. The problem is you have to have a wide open area to, to fly fish. Um, so I converted from fly fishing when I come up here to, uh, to these kind of rods. And uh, they've served me very well. That's why I stopped using, you can't use artificial bait like flies with these kind of rods. You can with a float or whatever. It's a pain in the butt. Don't even bother. I'll tell you what, person that uses worms will outfish a fly fisherman every day. Sorry, it's the way it is. Um, <clears throat> and as the speed of that stream goes, you have to kind of get a feel for it. How much weight do you put on? Do you want it to float? Do you want it to sink a little bit? Do you want it to sink down? Depending on the hole, depending on the the current, those are things you kind of have to fool around with. But this is what I use, and uh, it's always a good time, man. So uh, I hope I've given you a little bit of uh, what I do when I'm here, what I use, why I use it. Um, hopefully we have some production today. I'm going to try and do some metal detecting uh, either late today or tomorrow. Um, this this whole series is just me going up north and having some fun and doing something different than what I usually do. So I'll try and fit it in, but if I don't, don't get mad. I mean, you're getting a little part of me that most people don't see. So till then, let's uh, hope for some uh, big trout today. Take care.